We're going to create all of these slides in the next five minutes. Gradient backgrounds, gradient text, using gradient shapes to make things stand out, and finally, a trick to Photoshop text inside Google Slides. Let's start with something simple. Highlight everything that's on your slide and delete it. Then, click on the background button on the toolbar and go to select a color. On the color selection screen, move across to the gradient option. Now all of these are okay, but let's make our own by clicking the plus under the custom heading. Click on the first gradient stop on the left here, and again, choose to add a custom color. Now you can put anything you like in here, but I'll share the colors that I've used in the description. Click okay, and do the same for the other gradient stop at the other end. Click to select a color, choose custom, and drop in your custom color. Now I'm also going to add an extra gradient stop in the middle here, just to make the gradient pop out a little bit more. Click OK. Now choose an angle for the gradient. I think 45 degrees is best. Then click OK, then done. And look, a lovely gradient colored background. Now the problem is, if you go to add text, you can type your text, change the font, set the size. But when you go to add a color, you don't have the gradient color option for text color. So that's where word art comes in. Now to show you this, I'm gonna to go to the top here, click on the arrow next to the new slide button and choose a blank slide. Then I'm going to go to insert word art and I need to type in the word that I want for my word art. So I'm gonna use the word gradient. Now word art is just like text except slides treats it as a shape. So you can change the font and you can increase the size by using the handles now hold shift when you click and drag on the corner to keep the right ratio here. Let's make the line color transparent to make it disappear. And now when I click on the fill color here, I do have the gradient option and I can just choose that same gradient that I created for my last slide. Now I think this looks great and will really help your slides pop. Consider using this for a title, for example. Okay, now let's take this to the next level. I'm gonna create a new blank slide again by clicking the arrow, choosing blank, and this time I'm going to go to insert and then image, and I'm gonna search the web for an image, which you can do right here in slides. Now I'm gonna search for Northern Lights, Iceland, and I'm gonna choose this lovely picture of the Northern Lights behind a church, and I just click and drag it in. Now I need to resize this to crop it to the slide size with all the detail that I want in the actual slide. So I do that just by dragging the handles. And if you double click on an image in slides, you get these crop handles. And what I'm doing here is just clicking, dragging down so I can see the edge of the slide again, and then making it fit by dragging it back up to the edge. Now this is a really great way to make a slide look nice, is put an image in the background. But if I go to add some text here, one of the problems can be that the text doesn't stand out the way that you want it to. So I'm choosing my font, I'm making it big enough, and I'm gonna change the color simply to white here. Now this looks okay because the image is dark, but I think we can make it stand out even more. So here's my second tip. Go to the shapes icon, choose a rectangle, and drag that rectangle out across the top of the image. Now we're going to make the line color transparent to make it disappear. Then we're going to choose to fill this with a gradient, but we're gonna do something slightly different. On the first gradient stop, we're gonna choose black. And on the last one, we're gonna choose white, except we're gonna actually go back to this last one and make it a custom color. And you can see with gradients, we can make the color transparent. That's an opacity slider. So I'm moving that all the way down to zero and I click okay. So I just right click on that shape, go to order and send it backwards. And here's what it looked like before and after. I think the text stands out way better with just a simple trick. All right, this last tip is my favorite. So let's add a new blank slide. I'm dragging in here a picture that I have of a beach, making it fit the slide in the same way, using the handles, double clicking to crop, and then making it fit the slide. Now I want this to look like text on the beach, but I'm gonna use word art. I'm doing that because I want this text to look like it's kind of in the sand. So I'm gonna write the word beach here. I'm gonna choose my font. I really like this font called Be Bass New. Highly recommend using it, always looks cool and I'm dragging this so that the C is roughly in line with the tree. Now I'm making the line color transparent, and I'm gonna choose just a custom solid color to start with, which is gonna be, I think, a nice orange. So I'm gonna use the color slider here, find the orange that I want, and click OK. Cool, I think that's a nice color. So let's now make this a gradient. So I go back to the fill color, choose gradient, 
and click the plus under custom. And I'm going to choose that orange for the end of the gradient here. Now I'm going to add a gradient stop and I'm going to choose the same color orange. And on the last one, I'm going to go to a custom color and just make it completely transparent. So the color here doesn't matter because we're not going to see it. Now I'm going to go back to that last gradient stop, add another one and also choose completely transparent for this one. Now this just allows me to have a really tight gradient that when I click OK, you'll see here, it kind of looks like the text is coming out of the beach. But here's a bonus trick. We want to make it look like the word is behind the tree. So I'm just going to copy and paste that image and put it right back in the position over the top of the main one. And I'm going to crop it down just to one section of the C. So you'll see here, I'm just kind of cropping it in the shape of the tree on the top section of the letter C. And this is kind of a cheap, quick way to do a Photoshop. This isn't going to be perfect, but I do think it's a cool trick to be aware of. Then once I'm done, I do the same thing again. Copy the image with Command and C and Command and V or Control C, Control V if you're on Windows or Chrome. And I'm going to do the same for the bottom of the letter C here. Now I think this is a really cool trick. We've got text standing up on the beach in the sand right behind the palm tree. Now if you want to try this for yourself, you can start from scratch and follow along, but I've included a link to these slides that you can see here in the description, so feel free to play around with what I've got here.